Hi, it's Corrine, and today I have a fun wall art project to share with you using an image from Graphic Stock. If you're not familiar with Graphic Stock and have not seen my previous videos on Graphic Stock, they have the largest unlimited download library of graphics, photos, vectors, and images on the internet, and they have over 300,000 plus images and content that you can use. So if you're not familiar with how that works, most websites charge per image or per graphic, and some even charge up to $30 per image. But with Graphic Stock, you can get an unlimited amount of downloads with your membership. So if you have a membership, you can download anything with them and use it for school projects. Um, my sister uses graphic stock at her church. You can use it for like I do in any of your arts and crafts. I also, I'll show you a few other ways that I use some of their images. They do have an annual plan. It's $99 and it's unlimited access. They are offering my subscribers a seven day free trial membership. And you'll find the information for that down in the description box below. So during that seven day free trial, you can download 140 pieces of content. So check it out and see what they have to offer. There's so much to choose from. All their memberships come with 100% royalty free agreement, which means you cannot get sued by copyright holders for use. And you can use them also in commercial projects if that's what you need to. So I quickly want to show you their website. Their website is very easy to navigate and you can spend hours looking through all their stuff. They have so much to choose from. So whatever project that you want, you'll find something. So go to graphicstock.com and I'll have a link down in the description box. And up here, you'll find a search bar. So if there's something very specific you're looking for, just search for it in the search bar. They have vectors, illustrations, photos that you can um, filter it by. There's down here, there's categories that you can choose from. So you can choose fictional, health and science, holidays and celebrations. They also have a lot of images for say Christmas. So you can get an image to use for your Christmas cards if that's what you'd like to do. And if I go up here to illustrations and click on that, down here, you can filter it more by patterns, backgrounds, abstract, nature, animals, watercolor, sport, and fitness, travel, so on and so forth. So if you click on the watercolor in my project that I'm going to be doing here in just a moment, this is where I found my image as I went under the watercolor images. And if you're using a vector, you that's editable. So you can change the background color. Um, if it has wording, you can change the wording, you can add text, or you can just download a JPEG file. When you select download here. So if I were to download this, it's going to give you your different files that you can download. So tons to choose from. And again, check out the seven day free trial membership. This video is sponsored by Graphic Stock. And like I said, they are offering a seven day free trial to all my subscribers, which is great. I hope you stop by and check it out. Also, I have a start to finish on a wall art project that, like I said, I'm using from an image that I got from Graphic Stock. So I ho you, hope you stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions, let me know. Check out the description box for the seven day trial membership. Here is the beautiful art that I had printed out from Graphic Stock. I printed out two of them. One is an eight by 10 because it's going to be going into a frame. And then I just cut out the second one a little bit smaller to approximately six and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then I added a beautiful saying that I had in my stash that says, be your own kind of beautiful. So look how gorgeous this artwork is. I found this under the watercolor category in the graphic stock library. And as you can see, it matches up perfectly. I'm going to back both of them on some black cardstock. The smaller one, I added two layers of chipboard and I went around the chipboard with a black Sharpie marker. That way, if it's seen from the side, it'll blend right in. So I'm just going to add some ATG tape to center that on there. And I added a white piece of paper behind it so I could see a little bit better in order to center it better. And this is going to look great in a little girl's room. And it's a, a beautiful saying. So I added the eight by 10 to a black piece of cardstock as well. And now I'm just simply going to 
line that up and glue it down. And then that design carries over into the larger piece. So here is a matching frame that I have that I'm placing it in. And now I'm simply going to use some beautiful, pretty flory flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts and a couple of cabochons and hot glue them on. So very simple, very quick project to put together, but it makes for a really great gift or something for your home as well. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I hope you stop by Graphic Stock and check out their huge selection of images. Thanks so much for stopping by.